I never try and convince anyone really of anything, but more than anything, I never try and convince them about GMOs or how we know that they're safe. Because for the most part, if somebody comes to me wanting to know how do we know GMOs are safe or tell me about GMOs, the very first indication that they're open to learning is that they've asked about it. And even if it's hostile, right? Even if the thing that they came to seems like it's really aggressive, I always try and get to, uh, to take a step back to say, well, before we talk about GMOs, let's talk about something that I found really interesting. Like, did you know that broccoli didn't occur in the wild? And most of the time they take kind of a step back. And then I go on to say, yeah, um, broccoli didn't occur. You couldn't just go find it out in the wild and pick it. Instead, human beings bred it from um, a, a form of wild mustard or wild cabbage called Brassica olerica. And hunters and gatherers figured out that this long spindly plant with bushy seed pods, if you went out and found the ones with the bushiest seed pods and another one with it, then you could blend them together. You could put their pollen on one another and the resulting children would have bushier seed pods. And you could keep selecting for the bushiest seed pods and keep crossing them together. And before too long, you have an entirely new plant. You have broccoli. And that same Brassica olerica plant is the same plant that gave us cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and kale and kohlrabi. All of these plants came from human beings taking these genes in the form of pollen and slamming them together and seeing what came out. And suddenly when you show somebody that, they have this sense of wonder and this awe that makes them take a step back and suddenly they're willing to say, wait a second, so then what does this have to do with GMOs? And then you can talk about how much more precise it is or how that's using far less slamming together of genes but instead being really, really clear on what attribute you want to come out. And really, by giving them that sense of wonder, you've opened them up to saying, there's a lot more fun and interesting things here to learn, and maybe I should have more conversations.